Now, I kind of promised myself that I wasn't going to make more MacBook videos. I feel like I've done too many of those, but I've been getting this question a lot. Do I still use my MacBook Pro 16 inch? Last year, I made a lot of videos about the MacBook Pro. Uh, is the MacBook Pro 16 inch a good computer? How to keep it from overheating? Stuff like that. Uh, and now the big question is, do I still use it? And the simple answer is yes, I still use my MacBook Pro 16 inch. I still use it as my mainly driver. I don't use any other computer. I use this for pretty much everything except for my work as a consultant and then I actually have a PC laptop. So what do I do on this computer? It's mostly browsing the web, writing. I do a lot of writing. Uh, I write like journal and I do editing of videos. I have some other channels also, some Swedish channels and I do all my editing on this MacBook Pro 16 inch. Now if you're wondering why I haven't switched to the MacBook Pro or the MacBook Air with the M1 chip, it's because I really like the 16 inch screen that you get here. And if they release a MacBook Pro 16 inch with an M1 chip, I might consider upgrading, but honestly, I think this is just fine. Uh, except I wish I'd had an SD card reader, you know? And I keep hearing these rumors that they're thinking about putting it back. Like if they release a MacBook Pro 16 inch with an SD card reader, I would just order it immediately. Seriously, it's desperately needed. Apple, if you're listening. <laughs> I have also been considering getting the Mac Mini M1, but I just sort of like the minimalistic feel of just having one computer for everything. But I have noticed that because it is a portable computer, I use it probably a bit more than I want to. I often use it to just browse the web and it's getting kind of like, I'm not gonna say that it's bad to browse the internet, but I just feel like I do it a bit too much. You know, so there's definitely a downside to having a laptop, um, which could be a completely different video that I could make, by the way. Anyway, you probably noticed that I do have some kind of a cover here. Now, this is a pr transparent cover that I use. It's uh, transparent. It's just plastic. I it's both on the top and on the bottom. And the reason why I use it is because it does get very hot sometimes, especially in the summer when I have it on my lap. Even the best tips that I could use from my how to keep your MacBook from overheating video tips, uh, I still find that that gets a bit hot on your lap. So I use this plastic cover and it actually helps, you know. So that's when only when I'm basically editing videos, when I'm watching YouTube videos or just browsing the web, not a problem. It's just when I'm editing 4K videos, this thing gets very hot. But if you have a MacBook or a MacBook Pro 16 inch, you probably know what I'm talking about. Now, I think it still performs exceptionally well. I think it's still a very good purchase. But I mean, at this point, I would probably recommend that people wait for the 16 inch. And I do want to say that this thing is not very portable because it is quite big. It is quite hefty. It is heavy, you know, and, but the screen is just so nice. A 16 inch screen is just beautiful. It's going to be really interesting to see if the MacBook Pro gets released with a 14 inch screen. That could be very interesting to see actually. Maybe it will be enough. I don't know, but it's nice to have a big screen on a laptop. Now, if I was traveling a lot, then I would probably get a 13 inch screen because the 13 inch form factor is just perfect. You know, I don't know. I sometimes have this MacBook with me when I'm traveling, but it's not a lot, especially during these times, you know, but because I use it mostly at home, basically in the kitchen or in the living room, I just don't really see a need for a smaller laptop. And for those of you who are wondering, have I connected it to an external monitor? The answer is no, I have not. I do have a 4K 27 inch monitor in my studio, but I just never feel the need for it because I think that the 16 inch screen is good enough you know like you don't really need more screen that's the problem with 13 inch screens sometimes you feel like you need a bigger screen but with the 16 inch honestly i just don't feel i need the need i have never once thought oh i wish i had a monitor where i could just connect this thing so there is that now the macbook pro 16 inch it does have four usb-c ports they work great it's uh, the only thing i pretty much connect to them is the samsung t7 and the samsung t5 external hard drives i don't really have a need for 
more ports and to be completely honest i could do with two ports i know a lot of youtubers complain oh why are they just two ports for me two ports would be just enough but i don't know people maybe connect them to wired mouses or keyboards i don't know for me i don't really need it but i really do miss that sd card reader that's a big one and um i still haven't gotten used to the touch bar i still think it's horrible to use I basically turned off most of it. You can customize the touch bar. And so I just don't like it, you know. It's not for everyone. But I do have friends who actually love the touch bar. So this is pre pretty much a personal preference kind of thing. Something that I constantly keep reminding myself is this thing that I've said before that computers are just tools and what you use them for, that's the most important thing. So if I really, really think about it, would a much faster MacBook Pro 16 inch be a good upgrade for me? At this point, I'm just gonna really say no. I've simplified my editing process. I don't shoot in 4K anymore. I shoot in 1080p and it's not because the MacBook Pro 16 inch can't handle it. It handles it very fine. It's just that 1080p is good enough, I think. Uh, it looks good on YouTube. It looks good on a TV. And 4K, I wouldn't say it's overkill, but it's just not very necessary, you know? And so if I was to upgrade to a MacBook Pro 16 inch with an M1 chip, this thing would be much faster. And maybe I can upgrade the storage. The storage was sort of a downside also because it was just 512 gigs that I got. But honestly, because I've changed my workflow so much recently, I don't really need it, you know? So I basically learned to utilize this computer to the best of its abilities. You know, it's not for editing Hollywood movies like The Avengers. This is for editing simple vlogs. And for that purpose, it works brilliantly still to this day. And it works better than ever because I have basically adjusted myself to its limitations and to its strengths. And it works just great. <laughs> it's funny to me that really the only reason I would upgrade the MacBook Pro 16 inch would be the SD card reader. That would be it. That would be like I would gladly pay all that money just to get a built in SD card reader. And sometimes I got to wonder, did Apple do that on purpose? Did they think one day that, oh, well, computers are so powerful now that we need to give people reasons to upgrade them. And it can't be making MacBooks faster because people haven't noticed any difference. So, you know, like, could they be that sneaky? I don't know, I don't know. But regardless, I am very pleased with my MacBook Pro 16 inch. I have no reason to upgrade it anytime soon. And um, yeah, do you still have the MacBook Pro 16 inch? Do you still use it? Let me know in the comment section and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Take care.